Austin's attractions cater to all ages. With an abundance of green space, active travelers can bike in Zilker Metropolitan Park and swim in Barton Springs Pool before an evening of bat watching at the Congress Avenue Bridge. Visitors to the city will enjoy the friendly, creative atmosphere as well as all the history of this admittedly unique and vibrant city. When you travel to Austin, you will be surprised at how much there is to see and do and will probably have trouble choosing between them. To help with that, we have created this list of the best things to do and places to see. So, all you have to do is show up and enjoy yourself. Number 1. Texas Capital Completed in 1888, the state capital and its 22 acres of grounds and monuments are home to the office of the state governor and the chambers of the Texas legislature. Protected as a national historic landmark, the building impresses with its dimensions. At 308 feet tall, it ranks as the sixth tallest state capital, taller even than the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C. Visitors can stroll the park via the tree-lined path called the Great Walk and admire the numerous monuments, a Texas African-American history memorial. The Vietnam War Monument and a bronze statue of a Texas Ranger all capture attention along the Great Walk, as well as a miniature statue of Liberty that was presented in 1951 by the Boy Scouts of America. 2. Zilker Metropolitan Park Putting a huge park in the middle of a busy city, always an amazing thing to do. It gives locals and tourists a chance to enjoy a touch of nature, exercise, and generally get away from the business of the city. The Zilker Metropolitan Park is one of the best city parks you'll ever see. Several of the city's top attractions are located there and it also includes athletic fields, swimming holes, and open spaces where you can walk or just sit down with a picnic. If you're looking for a place to exercise, swim, or have a picnic, you'll definitely find the space in this park. 3. Lady Bird Lake In 1960, Austin made this reservoir as a cooling pond for a power plant. Today, this 416-acre lake is used mainly for recreation. Lady Bird Lake is a haven of outdoor fun and cheap family-friendly recreation. From hiking to water activities, you'll find tons of exciting outdoor activities at Lady Bird Lake. Rent a paddle or kayak and explore the famed Colorado River. While there, catch the wildlife around the scenic lake, which includes fish and birds. You can also hike, visit the boardwalk, watch bats, or enjoy a river cruise. Although lined with hotels and residential complexes, the majority of its shoreline is open to the public, with miles of excellent trails for pedestrians and cyclists. The main pedestrian path along the shores is the Ann and Rui Butler Hike and Bike Trail and Pedestrian Bridge, which crosses the river and connects downtown Austin with the southern shore. 4. Congress Avenue Bridge Crowds gather nightly on the Congress Avenue Bridge at sunset to watch Austin's urban bat colony fly out from their home on the underside of the bridge over Lady Bird Lake. The 45-minute spectacle is one of those only in Austin happenings. The colony of Mexican free-tailed bats is the largest in an urban environment in North America. About 1.5 million bats take flight each night to feed on pesky insects like mosquitoes, making the animal a local hero. Note that the spectacle is seasonal, typically from May through October. During the winter, the bats migrate elsewhere. And even though the whole thing lasts 45 minutes, you get the idea in under 5. If you can pair your viewing with another activity downtown, not difficult, as this part of town is extremely lively, it's worth making time to watch. 5. University of Texas at Austin In addition to being the first of the Texas University System campuses, the University of Texas at Austin is home to several top tourist attractions. The Jackass Blanton Museum of Art is a permanent collection of 17,000 pieces of European, American, and Latin American art. Also on campus is the Harry Ransom Center, which houses a permanent collection of rare literature and printed materials. The Texas Memorial Museum is part of the Natural Science Center at the University of Texas and features a huge collection of items representing the natural and cultural history of the Lone Star State. Another impressive tourist site at the university is the landmark UT Tower, infamous for the tragic shooting in 1966. With a height of 307 feet, the tower provides beautiful 360-degree views of the city of Austin. 6. Barton Springs Pool Barton Springs Pool is a favorite locale among visitors and residents alike. 
Native American settlers once believed the springs possessed spiritual healing powers, and professional travel writers still refer to Barton Springs as the soul of Austin, and many visitors say it's an ideal spot to cool off in the summer. It's set within well-kept Silker Park, which has lots of shade and lawns for sunbathing, and remains blissfully undisturbed by the city's whiplash growth. Not to mention the water temperature is a cool 68 degrees year-round, making it a much-needed respite during extremely hot summers, and perfectly pleasant in the wintertime, too. Be prepared for a bit of a walk if you can't park close by, as the parking lot fills up with locals quickly. 7. Bullock Texas State History Museum Named for Texas's 38th Lieutenant Governor, the Bullock Texas State History Museum explores the Lone Star State's vibrant past with artifacts ranging from the original Goddess of Liberty statue that resided at the top of the state capitol's dome to astronaut Edgar Mitchell's space suit used in the Apollo 14 mission to the moon, along with galleries featuring more than 500 artifacts. The museum features rotating special exhibits to reflect the diverse history of the state. The museum is also home to the largest IMAX screen in Texas as well as the 4D Texas Spirit Theater with special documentary short films, a cafe with an outdoor patio, and large museum store to take a piece of Texas history home with you. Since opening in 2001, more than 9 million people have visited the museum to learn about the history of the Lone Star State. Native Texans and out-of-towners alike say the exhibits are well laid out and many recommend setting aside at least a few hours to take in all there is to see. 8. Mount Bonnell – The best place to visit in Austin for amazing views of the entire city. Mount Bonnell is a Texas historic landmark and is listed in the National Register of Historic Places. It's located in historic Covert Park and is the highest point at 775 feet high. It's also located along the Lake Austin portion of the Colorado River and has been one of the most popular points of interest in Austin for centuries. If you manage to visit on a clear day, you'll be treated to sweeping, unobstructed views of the city. You'll have to climb over 100 stairs to get to the top, so you'll need to be reasonably fit, but it's worth the climb. The overlook is surrounded by a forested area, which makes the whole experience even better than you might expect. 9. South Congress Avenue South Congress Avenue is one of Austin's hippest neighborhoods with an eclectic range of shops, boutiques, restaurants, antique stores, music venues, galleries, and food trucks. More than anywhere else, South Congress has that Austin feel that people travel for. Almost every spot is locally owned. There's live music everywhere, and the storefronts and walls sport creative murals. If you're looking for something to do at night, you'll definitely find it in this district. Once the sun goes down, stick around and try some of the amazing eateries. Most of the restaurants have outdoor patios, so grab a chair, people watch, and then find a place to have a drink with some live music. 10. McKinney Falls State Park Onion Creek winds through McKinney Falls State Park, providing cool respite for campers hoping to escape the hot Texas sun. In addition to the creek, Nearly nine miles of trails take hikers and bikers around the park's limestone formations and wooded areas. After an active day, visitors at McKinney Falls can wind down at one of the park's 81 campsites or six cabins. According to recent overnight guests at the park, many of the camping spots include raised tent pads to ease setup and protect the area's vegetation. Past visitors recommend checking out both the upper and lower falls. Travelers also suggest planning your trip to coincide with the wet season. May to late September, as the river can nearly dry up during the dry season.